What's going on, guys? So what I'm about to show you, it's just very disturbing. But, hey, we have to be watchmen on the wall. We have to sound the alarm. Now, I've been talking about this and warning about it for about 10 years. And I didn't have all the details. I just knew what God showed me. And so now we're getting the details because the things that we've prophesied about is actually becoming a reality. So I want to talk to you about this law, SB 5599 in Washington. It's not only happening in Washington, all right? It's already happening here in Illinois. And then I'm going to show you a clip, all right, where this guy is breaking down this curriculum that they're teaching in the school. It's very um, disturbing. Now, if you haven't watched the video that I just recently posted of Joe Biden, just go watch the very beginning of it. Go listen to what Joe Biden says out of his mouth about the children of this nation. All right. So SB 5599. All right. I got it pulled up right here. This is a Senate bill um, in Washington. The title, an act relating to supporting youth and young adults seeking protected health care services. That's the number one deception right there. The way that they word the language, right? They do the same thing with abortion, right? Um, we need health care services, you know, at these abortion clinics when the reality is, no, you just want to have an abortion. They always say, well, we offer uh, so many other services and you don't want women to have access to these to these services. And they make it seem that it's not just about the abortion. This is talking about young adults seeking not health care services, but to change their sex, to start taking the um puberty blockers, the hormone blockers, and to even get surgery, right? And so here's here's where it gets really crazy. When you take what Joe Biden said in the other video and you put it with this brief summary of the bill uh, provide, provides that a shelter for runaway or homeless youth does not need to contact the youth's parents if there's a compelling reason not to, which includes a youth seeking protected health services, meaning if your kid is underage, right, and they want to go and get the sex change, they will provide somewhere else for your children to stay, all right, in other states from what I've heard, they will take your kids from you. Now, remember, we were talking about this in Canada like two or three years ago. Canada was doing the same thing. If you do not affirm, right, uh, if your children, if your child is a boy and he feels like a girl or your girl feels like a boy, if you don't affirm, uh, your child in Canada, they said, we'll take your kids from you. That's child abuse. All right. And so now here in America, they're saying like, hey, we'll take your kids. We'll put them in some facility and we don't even have to let you know. And we'll help them go through the process because it's protected health care services. Hey, everybody needs to share this video. This video needs to go everywhere. People need to wake up because a lot of people, they don't know. And it's happening and they, they're sneaking in, it, sneaking it in. Allows host homes to house youth without parental uh, permission if a youth is seeking or receiving protected health care services. Appropriate $7.5 to the House of Homeless. So pretty much your tax dollars are going to pay for this. Of homeless youth prevention and protection for providing access to supportive care grants to organizations in order to address the needs of the youth and the young adults seeking protected health care services. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah. So this is in Washington. I've seen this is February 6th. All right. And so I think they're getting ready to vote on it. Man, this is absolutely bonkers. So you can scroll scroll through it. You can look it up. SB 5, not 5599. Now, I want you to watch this clip. Watch how this guy breaks it down. It's pretty disturbing. So another really big topic in the teacher training was intersectionality. Um, in intersectionality, the idea is that uh, you either have certain privilege or you're marginalized. And I can give you some of the examples. The graphic that was presented uh, was called Intersecting Identities. Um, for example, privileged groups consist of Christians, white people, and I'm looking at the graphic right here, word for word, men, um, homeowners, heterosexuals, adults, native English speakers, they're all considered privileged. So if you're not in that group, you are marginalized. But here's the kicker. The quote unquote privileged groups are assigned tactics of abuse. They're just abusive just by being. So for example, Christians, according to this training, Christians are emotionally abusive for non-Christians. Men are emotionally abusive toward women, right? So just by being there, this doesn't take into account your actual behavior, your actual character, just by the color of my skin, by my religion, my faith, I'm guilty, right? I'm the bad guy. So like I said earlier, it pits students against each other. You know, it pits colleagues against each other and there's no way you can win, right? If you're privileged, you're the bad guy. 
if you're marginalized, you're the victim. And there's, there's no way to get out of this, either of these, according to training. So it's just a perpetual cycle of, you know. It pre- so here's the thing. Like I've always told you guys, everything you see happening to President Trump, I've said this for years, right, is going to happen to Christians. So they're going to demonize Christianity. Right. They're going to say, hey, there's a version of Christianity that's acceptable and they've been doing this for a while. But the other types of ver- versions of Christianity where you're actually speaking truth, that's not acceptable. The watered down, hippie kind, unbiblical Christianity, the Hollywood Christianity, that's cool. The kind of Christianity where Cardi B, Justin Bieber and all these people, they can live however they want and say, I'm still a Christian. That's the kind of Christianity that America said is acceptable. And so now they're taking it a step further. And they, where do they start with the kids? indoctrinate the children put it in their mind that these people are privileged these people are bad they're so slick with it you better pay attention they're so slick with how they do this this stuff is not a joke you better be very aware you better be talking to your children i'd be shutting that stuff down with my kids like right away this is why we have to build our own schools we have to build our own everything this is why I'm, I'm on here, you know, once a week asking you guys to partner with me. I got the school building. I'm trying to make a difference in Chicago. OK, because this is the ugly reality of what is going on. And I told you guys that a collision was coming. I've been saying this for 10 years, that that gray area where a lot of Christians are hiding, they're not going to be able to hide anymore. You're going to have to you're going to have to choose a side. I told you, there's no way in the world Christians should be voting for Democrats. There's, I, I, people got so mad when I said that a couple of years ago, but now people aren't getting as mad because they're seeing this kind of stuff. They just voted to protect women's sports in America to not allow these trans guys, you know, to go compete in the sports. Guess what? All the Republicans voted for the bill. All the Democrats, they voted against it pretty much. It's just a fact. It's what's happening. You got to pay attention. Don't be deceived. It's, it's crazy out here. We got to protect our children.